Welcome and greetings. We are extremely pleased to be here with you today, this day of your time. Today's transmission is regarding Earth changes. Dearest ones, we love you so much. Your history books record such a tiny bit of your Earth history that it takes all of your current knowledge out of context. So many of you are focusing upon the changes that are happening upon Gaia. Allow us to offer our understandings to you, dearest ones. The Earth undergoes many changes on a regular basis. But what we consider a regular basis is beyond your history. Everything has seasons. Everything has patterns. Everything has an ebb and flow. It is time once again for your beloved Gaia to undergo some landform changes. These particular landform changes have nothing to do with the influence of humans. Yes, humans are offering toxins to Gaia and there are changes occurring because of these toxins. But Gaia is in a season of change along with your solar system and will be going through the season of change regardless of any influence by humans. Certain changes are part of the season. Just as there are currents within your oceans that offer specific patterns of change, there are currents within what you consider to be outer space. Your galactic solar system has once again entered a current that has brought about another cycle of changes. Let us now discuss the scenarios that so many humans are offering as the cause of the ascension process. Dearest ones, we love you so much. Hear our words now on this topic, but understand that our words are offered for any topic that holds your attention. Where you focus your attention is what you create. If you understood your power, then you would understand the significance of your attention. For you see, dearest ones, it is very similar to you blowing air out of your mouth to blow out a candle. You focus your attention upon a candle and then direct your airflow towards that candle. The energy that you are, your entire beingness, is the same as the airflow analogy. You decide what you want to think about and feel an emotion about it and therefore experience a belief concept and those thoughts create more of that belief just as if you decided you wanted to blow out a candle and you focus all of your internal energy and body functions in order to direct the airflow towards the candle. And just like with a candle, if you put very little energy into your thoughts or if you put very little air into your lungs, then you will not have enough energy to create your desires, or you will not have enough air to blow out the candle. The amount of energy you put into your thoughts equals the correlation of their manifestation. Just as the amount of air you put into your lungs and the power you decide to exhale correlates to the power that the candle is blown out. 
Returning our discussion back to world changes. If you believe that there is going to be horrific and terrifying experiences had by yourself and others as Gaia reshapes and shifts, then you are offering a low vibration of fear and you are sending energy to that particular outcome to be manifested into your environment. If you believe that there is going to be minimal changes and those minimal changes will occur fairly slowly so that the majority of humans are able to evacuate any area that may be required so that way the humans have a very easy time and humans work together to create a beautiful time of compassion, love, and giving, then you are offering a high light vibration of love and you are sending energy to that particular outcome to be manifested into your environment. So then you ask us, which is the outcome that is going to occur? Dearest ones, as long as you exist in your current physical form, you exist in a dualistic environment. So both outcomes are going to occur. But how is that possible, you ask? Dearest ones, this is where you will truly be able to experience the splitting of the earths, the different earths. You are currently experiencing the splitting of the earths, but is not very obvious as Gaia is fully able to coexist multiple vibrational patterns at the same time. For now, when it is time for the earth changes to begin, on a grander scale, your frequency of belief will dictate which version of Earth and its changes you shall experience. If you are focused upon doomsday, focused upon fear, focused upon survival, then your free will choice you were deciding to focus upon a lower vibration, which will cause you to manifest into your existence an unpleasant experience of earth changes. If you are focused upon small changes occurring in a fairly low speed, focused upon love, focused upon humans helping humans, then by your free will choice, you are deciding to focus upon a higher vibration, which will cause you to manifest into your existence a pleasant experience of earth changes. As you have a higher vibration, you shall shift to higher and higher versions of your earth. As you have a lower vibration, you shall shift to lower and lower versions of your earth. And the closer these versions are, the more they overlap or you are able to see through one into the other, but there are still changes. Most of these shifts of timelines are very minimal, so you do not perceive the differences in your environments very much. As you change your vibration, you shift to a different earth that has a different timeline or a different location of your earth. You are the one in control. You choose your timeline. If you choose higher and higher vibrations, you choose to shift to a higher timeline. The more you change and the more you grow and the more you expand your consciousness and evolve, the more you keep shifting to higher and higher timelines. Nobody else is, only you. Because all of these other versions already exist. You choose which one you focus upon depending upon your vibration. Now, returning to the earth changes. 
Are there going to be higher levels of water? Yes, dearest ones. This is because this is a standard experience within the cycle of Earth changes, and this change exists on all primary timelines. This cycle of Earth changes brings about a maneuvering of the land masses and a restructuring of the ocean currents. This is because it is time for change. It is part of the cycles. It is part of the seasons. It is part of the galactic clock. Can these changes happen slowly and easily? Yes, of course it can, dearest ones. There is no reason why it must occur in a dramatic fashion. Many of your ancient texts refer to significant changes in a very quick time frame. But this is what happened to them due to their vibratory levels where they existed upon Gaia's lands. Not all of the lands experienced major changes. The frequency of the consciousness witnessing the changes determines the experience that the land masses will have. Again, the frequency of the consciousness witnessing the changes determines the experience that the land masses will have. Also, let us state that what we are discussing is in general, and there are many other considerations, such as your chosen life contract, your soul contracts with others, and your life blueprint experiences. And do not worry about where you should live. Enjoy your life. If you spend your time worrying, then you will be drawing more of the corresponding worrisome events into your life. Just trust that if you are to move, you will be inspired at the right time to move. Your higher self knows what is going on. It is not up to you to figure this out. It is up to you to live happily and joyfully so you can be open and receptive to your inspired impulses of love. If you are to move, you will do so naturally and effortlessly because you are living in a happy and joyful state and your life experiences will create such an easy and natural process that you will not even realize any correlation between events. Trust, dearest ones, trust that all will be revealed when the time is right. Allow yourself the fun of living your life as fully and gloriously as you can right now, right where you are, and trust that all will flow naturally and easily. And there is nothing for you to do other than to live in a constant state of love and gratitude. Love and gratitude will cause you to open and be in the flow of life and all will unfold naturally and easily with no conscious effort or force on your part. Live your life right now with fun and ease and grace and trust knowing it will all unfold to your highest good. Allow yourselves to be gently and lovingly cared for by us, by Source God, and your light team. We are all guiding you. We are always 
guiding you. Trust that all is well, dearest ones. All is well. You are loved. You are loved unconditionally. Unconditionally, you are loved regardless of what you think, regardless of what you have done, regardless, regardless, regardless. You are loved unconditionally. We love you unconditionally. Feel our love, dearest ones. Feel our unconditional love. Feel the unconditional pure love light from Source God and know all is well. We leave you now in the love and the light of the one infinite creator, Adonai.